It's been 13 straight days of severe weather for some of these same areas that have been hit over and over again with these tornadoes and you can see what's happening as the northern tier of the country is still quite active the central U.S. as well. You can see severe thunderstorm warnings already in place for parts of Texas and Arkansas. In the meantime, high pressure has been bringing us beautiful dry conditions not only across the state of Florida but the southeast that high acting like a roadblock and keeping that jet stream riding up and over uh, our area, but yeah, it's still going to be very dangerous stretching from the central and southern plains through the Midwest, from Dallas all the way through parts of Oklahoma, Little Rock, St. Louis. We're seeing the enhanced risk of severe storms, meaning more tornadoes, damaging winds, hail flooding possible for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and Illinois, as well as through parts in the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic. Now, thankfully, it's quiet and we are enjoying a dry start and should stay dry and wow what a sunrise as we look from our Doral camera here and yeah just plenty of sunshine and orange colored sky also stunning sunrise from our Key West camera Elena Gizen sharing the view from her neighborhood in Miami a Sandra K booth also from Lauderdale by the sea a stunning sunrise from Pat Moran our weather watchers delivering and sending in some beautiful sunrise photos thank you winds out of the east southeast a 10 miles an hour low 70s inland for us in southwest ranches in Kendall, 72, 77 in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, low 80s down through the Keys. And highs today will be seasonable, which is right where we should be at the upper 80s with that breeze out of the east southeast. 1050 knots for boater seas, two to three, a light chop on the bays. And at the beach, a moderate risk of rip currents, just be cautious. UV index extreme tonight will be pleasant and dry, a little cooler inland with low 70s, upper 70s along the coast. As we head into later this week, the winds will be shifting more out of the southeast and will be lighter. So so we'll be heating up highs in the low 90s and we'll see the chance for some showers, spotty nature Saturday and some afternoon storms Sunday with highs in the 90s and let's get to that.